that's gonna be hey guys it's katie welcome to another video today i'm going to be bringing you a book review and i'm going to be reviewing malibu rising by taylor jenkins reed so this is a book that i purchased myself i did receive an e-arc of it as well but i did want to get my hands on the beautiful signed edition that was from waterstones so that i can add it to my taylor jenkins reed collection I've only read one other book by Taylor Jenkins Reid and that was Daisy Jones and the Six which became one of my all time favourite books so I had massive high hopes for this one. So yes, Taylor Jenkins Reid, if you guys don't know, she's the author of many many books and um, yeah, like I, I hear great things about like her other books so I do really really want to give them a read but yes um she is very very famously written the seven husbands of evelyn hugo but yes malibu rising so this is a standalone book there is a book that is um like spun off from this called carrie soto is back which has not long been released it came out on the 30th of august and that is about a character in this book called Carrie Soto. So Carrie Soto is in this book for a little bit, so I definitely recommend giving this a read first before that book. But this is a pretty much a standalone story. So what is Malibu Rising about? Well, basically, because Taylor Jenkins really does her like characters really, really well. They are very, very character driven. They are literally about the characters. She writes them so well that they are like real characters. So we have like two kind of like timelines um, where we go back into the past with the mother June and Mick River, how they met, how they got together, how, you know, when they had the kids and everything, the dramas and everything that went along with it. And Mick River is basically, he's like a famous kind of like a, like a rock star, like, like he's like um, with his guitar, he's quite famous. Um, but he, you know, along with like being a pop star, um, and all that um, you get involved in the fandom and you know with various like other sort of like affairs as well um, and yes it's about June dealing with all of that and then we have the other side which are the kids that are from them so we have Nina River um, and then we have Hud and then we have Kit and basically Nina does this like annual kind of like party and um, yeah we're kind of like described that Malibu burns so that this party is going to literally be set on fire <laughs> and so yes you're learning about each and every one of their lives everyone they're involved with all of their relations why they have like beef with each other what exactly went wrong where and all that sort of stuff so it's about like the lies and the dramas but like I say, it's so character driven that it's as if they're actual real people and that's what Taylor Jenkins Reid does really, really well. And yeah, like you just learn so much about them all. And it's, yeah, based in the past, it is 1983 when the actual like present time is with Nina River and the party, but you do go back into the past, like I say. So was this book interesting? I would definitely say it was. Like I obviously was a bit skeptical going into it because having Daisy Jones and the Six is one of my favorite reads. Of course, I was a bit like, oh my God. And also with hearing like some mixed reviews about it as well. Some people sort of saying it was good. Some people were saying that it wasn't so good and some people kind of in the middle so I really did not know where I was going to stand. I personally like really liked all the characters I loved learning all about them I liked learning about June and her past and Mick River that he is just like not this like great father figure but he like pretty much accepts that and he sort of like pretty much kind of like says it um, and then we've got like Nina and then Kit's really cool as well and like hard um uh, yeah brandon <laughs> this character called brandon who yeah i'm not massively keen on and i believe he's the one that um went out with nina and i think he is the one that went on to carry soto who is briefly mentioned in the beginning and then she does yeah carry soto stole her husband <laughs> so 
yeah and then later on in the books that Carrie Soto comes back so I feel like Carrie Soto is a really interesting character so I can totally understand why Ted Jenkins Reid really did do a book about that character so I'll probably say they are the most interesting but yeah I really really liked learning about all the children and June the mother so how it's kind of like set up is like for example we have a time so when it's in the future you'll have a time of like you know what time it is before the party um and then when it's in the past it will have like the year and it does flick literally between the present and the past so like for example here we got here 1971 so yeah so it will go back to the past and then it'll go back to the future with the time until eventually you get to the time of the party I would say like the chapters though are like a decent size which is what I liked about it. I think the only thing that I found like disappointing in this is like dislikes is just that there was like a couple of parts that I felt like dragged a little bit and um, I just lost a tiny bit of interest but only very slightly and yeah um, but it picked itself back up and yeah I ended up really really enjoying it again. It's really hard to say like if I had a favourite and a least favourite part because I like kind of enjoyed it. I suppose I'm obviously the least favourite is just where like it dragged in the book. Um, but yeah, like my favourite part, like I just I just liked learning all about them. I liked how the book started. Um, I I must say I probably did like reading about the past. Um, so I liked going back and diving into June's life, the mother. Um, I thought that was really interesting. I really liked how the book ended as well. Um, it kind of like wrapped up really nicely for me. And yeah, like it was an enjoyable read. But the book gives me that sort of like effect where I would want to read other books by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I really love character driven books. So I was really kind of like happy that she'd done like another one. Because Daisy Jones and the Six is also heavily involved, but it's told in like interview format. But yeah, like it's definitely led me on to reading more books by Taylor Jenkins Reid and they are just fast becoming like an author by author, definitely. And yeah, like a favourite of mine. So in the end, after going on Corpile and going through like, you know, what I thought about characters and the storyline and everything, it came out as a 4.5 out of 5 Kit Kats, which I feel like is a really, really good rating and it feels right for me um as everything and it's really really good like it literally is it was almost a five star rating but you know it's still good enough to enjoy and would i reread it again yes i would would i recommend it to others yes i would if you like those sort of stories i don't often read like adult books really and um, I tend to enjoy like these really really good ones. It was easy to flow through and with the writing style it was easy to read with it being like an adult book so that's what I really like about it as well. So is it worth buying? Yes I think it is. I am definitely looking forward to continuing on with Carrie Soto is back by this very author and then hopefully getting around to reading Taylor Jenkins Reid's other books because I hear really really good things about them. Especially maybe in another life. That's one that's been like sort of like urging me to read it. That is the end of my review for My Libby Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do let me know down below in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to know about the book as well and anything that I haven't touched upon that you would like to know about. But yes, I really, really enjoyed this book. Definitely I recommend it. And yeah, it was a really good, enjoyable read. Obviously, thank you to the publisher for giving me an EARC to review. And thank you to Woodstones for the signed copy that I was able to get hold of. So yes, that's it from me. If you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. All of my social media links will be linked down below in the description if you would like to follow me elsewhere. Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, book clubs, gaming channels, it's all there down below. But that's it from me, guys. Kiss money, keep reading and be happy. My name is Katie and I will see all of you wonderful, awesome people in my next video. Bye!